Welcome to Dola, Ohio. We are here to preview the Harden Northern football team on the warm-up presented by Kenton Moose, joined by Polar Bears head coach Mike Dennis. Mike, guys are working the guys pretty hard out here on this well, morning. Yeah, I, hopefully they're working hard. Uh, you know, every day you want to come out here and try to get better, and that's what been our goal at. And I've told them before that, you know, either you get worse or you get better. And uh, Woody Hayes said that a long time ago, and I follow that philosophy, and and that's what we're trying to do is get better every day. First year here as head coach at Harder, at Harder Northern. Last year there was no varsity team. So it's kind of a fresh start here. And uh, is that the way you're looking at this camp? Oh, I don't know. I teach here. And I and uh, when I came back, uh, I guess you can look at it as a fresh start. But then again, you've got some uh, upperclassmen. You know, our juniors will be here a little bit talking to you. Uh, look at them. But I've told them after 707 that they have to grow up. You know, they are going to have to be seniors. Our sophomores are going to have to be juniors. You know, from a fresh start, yeah. But, you know, there's a lot of the same things that we've, what we want to do is from in the past. We want to get better every day. We want to become fundamentally sound. We want to just execute to its fullest. But I think, you know, it, it's, it's a work in progress. But at, at the same time, it's happening. So we've got to take sometimes baby steps before we can take those bigger steps. And I think we're doing that right now. And last year there was no varsity team, so these guys all played JV. How important was it to keep that JV program going, knowing that it was just hopefully going to be one year off? Well, it's important. You know, they, they kept playing, they got the game experience, but at the same time it wasn't those Friday night lights, and they're playing against, you know, the older kids. And uh, But, you know, talking along with that, uh, we've got a lot of kids coming back. At the same time, we've got a lot of new kids. So roughly we've got 30 kids right now that's out, and I think last year we had around 14, 15. So from that standpoint, you know, that was one of my goals is to be able to play a JV freshman uh, schedule along with that so they can gain experience. And last year, you know, they only played one game and some of the kids sat back and not played played any type of games. So, uh, yeah, it's it's something that's exciting. But, you know, from the standpoint of them getting experience, that was the whole main reason. And, and Keith Obenauer, he stayed, uh, stayed with us on staff. He was the coach last year. And he did a wonderful job of keeping the program alive. And I think that's, you know, that's – a great tribute to him and also to the, to the kids that were here last year. And there's a great energy in camp here early, just observing a little bit. They've got the pads on. How has, it's early obviously in August, but how has it gone so far, having everyone to, here together getting ready for the 2014 season? It's, I'm excited, and I think the kids are. And I think, you know, from the standpoint, it's, it's you know, it's, there's a little bit of a change. You know, I think the work ethic and things like that, they're still, you know, I'm happy, but I'm not satisfied because I think they can give more and show more. And that's what two days is all about to find out what's going to go on. But, you know, obviously when they put the pads on full gear and we start to hit on Thursday, you know, we'll see what type of team we'll have. So you mentioned it's a pretty young team. What are some of the advantages to that? Because you can kind of instill in these guys the, the right way from the beginning, right? There's no right. there's no previous uh, lessons well, learned. or they still got some habits, you know, and I think sometimes playing at a lower level like they did last year, JVs, which I thought was great, like I said, but sometimes – They've got to raise raise the bar up there because they're going to play against junior and seniors. And uh, but overall, you know, I think everything's going the way that we planned it. And but you know, we're still, like I said, not satisfied. We still think we can give a lot more, and that's what you keep on pushing kids. And but you know, I think, like I said, I think the energy is good. I think the attitudes are good. And you know, from the summer, we've had weightlifting, and the energy was good there. And a lot of kids showed up, and you know, I'm very proud of what they've done so far. We're going to head to the first scrimmage. You guys have one on the 15th against Antwerp. What are you hoping to get out of that leading it up to week one? Evaluate our kids. You know, evaluate what we can do and can't do. And obviously we want to do, uh, look at the film and what we can't do very well, work on those things that we can become a better football team. You know, scrimmages, I look at as them as extended practices. Some people get caught up and think, ah, you know, they really dominated or they didn't do very well. You know, we're looking at certain things, look at certain personnel, look at groupings, things like that. But you know, just go in, look, evaluate our kids, evaluate what we're doing, and see what things we need to work on, and, and see what things we can do to get better. And then heading into playing an independent schedule this season, and then moving into the NWCC in the following season. How do you guys think you fit into that conference? Well, <laughs> I th I think I don't care in the BBC and, and to the Northwest Conference, Central Conference. I think you you've got to compete in both conferences. You know, I don't look at one greater than the other, one lesser of the other. You've got to compete. You know, there's some good, there's good teams in both leagues, 
And, you know, I just think, you know, us getting out of the BBC independent schedule, good for this year, allows kids to grow and develop. But also at the same time, you know, we're looking forward to getting into the new conference. And like I said, you know, it's, we're going to have to compete. And not, I wish it, I wish it was easy, but it's going to be work. And I know those teams down there, they're going to prepare for us as well as we're going to prepare for them. Okay, now your team, what can we expect on the offensive side of the ball? Are there position battles brewing or is everything pretty much set? Well, like I said, when we when we go full pads on Thursday, and that's when really we start evaluating because you see players come out on Thursday. And right now things are just trying to time things up and see how things go when remembering plays and, and trying to execute that way. But uh, when Thursday comes, hopefully there's a lot more battles. But right now we've got a certain first group and a second group for a starting point. And, you know, that we'll reemphasize that here Thursday that everything's open. So, you know, hopefully competition really plays a good part on and developing a, a leader, a starter. And also hopefully, you know, those guys can be starters and also lead us to, to wins. And finally, on a personal note for you, what does it mean to you to become head coach here, being a teacher here and also you're a longtime assistant here in Arlington and, and you know, being around this team, what does that mean to you, and are you looking forward to the challenge? I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you know, the kids, I look back at these juniors and, and look at the rest of the team that went in the locker room. I think, you know, from a standpoint, I'm excited. You know, I work with them and I've seen them since they've been kindergarten kids up through high school. And, and I, you know, from the standpoint, I, I looked at them from the last couple of years, you know, I, I felt for them. I know what times uh, they went through, and like we won the state back in 2004, you know. Just 10 like years to, we, ago, not yeah, that far away. We like to get back to that level. You know, and that's what our goal is. But, you know, obviously we've got to take one step at a time and, and get these kids to play well and, 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 and execute very, very well. well. Best of luck to you this season, Coach Dennis. Thank you for your time. Time for a break here on the warm-up presented by Kenton Moose. But when we return, Mark Coots will join us to chat with some of the Polar Bear players. Oh, welcome back to the warm-up presented by the Kenton Moose Lodge. I'm Mark Koontz, joined now by a pair of juniors on this hard northern football team, Storm Drum, and on the end, Blake Obenauer. And, and first off, Storm, what was it like last year not having that varsity football team, only having to play JV? I suppose it was good to have the JV program, but did you feel like you guys were missing something on Friday nights? Well, you know, it's it's always tough not be, like being on that JV team, but it's it's what you have to do with like all them young young guys put them up against them big guys I mean that's that's a tough situation to be in so I think it was the best thing to do but it was tough. Blake did, did you learn a lot from last year do you think that was a better experience playing that JV schedule as opposed to going up against you know kids two three years older than you every Friday night on a varsity schedule? Yeah I would say we learned a lot um, we had low numbers so that was one of the main reasons that we did it but it was a good experience also because we had a lot of young guys and those young guys at a bigger school would be playing JV anyway so I feel like it was a good experience and at a time we would we would only have one or two guys on the sideline so I don't know if we could have done that with a varsity schedule. Yeah you look at the team this year 30 about 30 kids out it has to feel good to have that many kids out what was the summer like having you know that many more kids out playing football this year? Oh it was great um, we get we just get a whole bunch a lot more hard work and if you need breaks they're given to you and with, with subs it's just awesome because you get a break and also the other guy gets a break but you still also have to work hard even though we have these 30 kids out here you just have to keep working hard even though they have those substitutes because you don't want anybody taking your spot. Storm what was the summer like for the Sard Northern team? Man it's been tough but you know what it's it's a good thing to do because Dennis he's he's doing it he's doing a good job as coach he's pushing us to Get, get good cost, yeah, and to high. catch all the balls and I mean he's just he's a good coach. Yeah, coach Dennis has been around the school been around the program before he went off to Arlington so he, you guys have a comfort level with him knowing because you guys have known him for a while even though he hasn't been the coach here for a while? Yeah I'd say we uh, we know him pretty good um, just going around seeing the school saying hi to him every morning and seeing him in gym class when we were younger it was just great that we get to know our coach and we didn't have somebody completely new coming in to hard to learn football and just getting to use to that coach and making the season maybe even longer just trying to get to know our coach. Storm, what are the expectations for this year's team? Well, I think it's just getting to know the offense this season, but the next season I think it's going to be winning. 
because this season is just like a building time because with like young guys like us and I mean I think it's just going to be like a building season. Hard Northern Polar Bears looking to build in 2014 to Kent Moose Lodge. Looking to build in the community as always. We're going to take a break when we come back. Much more on this Kent Moose Lodge warm up at Hard Northern. Welcome back to the third down of the warm-up. Joined now by two more hardened polar bears as we talk with Wesley Schlatter and Preston Ribley. And Wesley, running back, linebacker, tell us a little bit about what this offense is going to look like for the polar bears. What do you mean by that? Do you mean like the formation? Sure. Well, I mean, what, what type of offensive philosophy? Do you think you guys going to be running the ball a lot? Is this going to be a passing attack? What, uh, what can we expect? I think it's going to be more 50-50, a little more passing than what we've used to. Last year we ran a lot. Uh, almost every play. I don't think we ever passed at all during most games. Preston, you're in the backfield and a linebacker as well. What the, what type of defensive philosophy will the Polar Bears have this year? Uh, I would say, I don't know, like we have small linemen, so I'm guessing our linebackers would have to more step up this year. So I would say more 4-3 of defense. As you look at the schedule, obviously you guys are playing an independent schedule, some teams you're maybe not necessarily used to. Do, do you like having that type of schedule? Would you rather see some of those old rivalries, or are you just going to take it as it comes this year? I'd rather see rivalry, rivalries, but the independent schedule, it, I think it's okay. Preston? I think, yeah, I'd like to see some rivalry. Uh, having those smaller teams, it's going to be good for the lower class. I mean, they're going to get some work, we are going to get some playing time, so I think that's a good thing we're going into that. Wesley, a couple of weeks for the opener against St. Wendell, and what do you think you, the team needs to work on the most between now and then? I think we need to work on uh, conditioning. Some of us still aren't there yet, and then mental strength, that's one another one too. Preston, I, I know obviously St. Wendelin's right at the forefront, but are there other games on the schedule you guys are really looking forward to? Uh, I really don't know. I haven't <laughs> looked at the schedule that close. Having a season like last year, where without the varsity, playing JV only, was it a difficult thing for this team, this program, to go through last year not having that varsity schedule? Or did you guys kind of have that long view that, you know, in the short term it wasn't the best, but in the long term that was probably the best thing for the program? I had that long view. Yeah, I, I knew... Last year I was one of the older kids and I knew what I was doing because I'd been in that varsity level. So I knew how to play and the speed of the game and everything. It, I wish we would have played varsity, but I know we couldn't. All right, that's going to do it for us today here at Harden Northern on the warm-up presented by the Kenton Moose Lodge. Thank all of our guests today, including Coach Dennis and Matt Finkel. I'm Mark Hicks. We'll see you next time on the warm-up.